Welcome back on this Monday morning. Before we get to ski Utah's Paul Marshall, we're going to talk about a new elimination style game called Love Games. This is coming off of 90 Day Fiance and I had the opportunity to speak with their host recently. Let's take a look. It's all fun and games until couples get eliminated in the new 90 Day Fiance series Love Games. Here to tell us more is the host of TLC's late night relationship series Find Love Live and the host of Love Games. Sukanye, Susi, and Krishnan, thank you so much for joining us here on Park City Television. It's so nice to meet you. My name is Sukanya. It's a pleasure. Suki, so tell me a little more about Love Games. All right, so Love Games is everything that you love about 90 Day Fiance. And I know there's so many people that are obsessed and just find all the deliciousness about that show. But this show is another iteration. It, it's it's kind of like a game show. So I'm your uh, host, and we get to meet up with all of these people that you've fallen in love with in seasons past. And we put it into a little game show format where they compete for points, we go through rounds, and then they win the ultimate uh, bragging rights, which is a love game trophy. So um, it's a little bit of catch up in the sense that you know, it's a little tell all in where we get to kind of figure some things out that maybe that were left dangling. Then you get to check in on how they're doing today. And a lot of them are doing really well, thriving in their own love stories. And we get to have fun where I get to ask probing questions where we get to, um, you know, answer some things that might be a little uncomfortable, a lot of funny and a lot of spontaneity. Sounds like a lot of fun. And you mentioned you're catching up with some of your favorite couples that Many viewers already know and will be excited to learn more about. And the challenge is the games are all being done in the different couples' places where they live, correct? Yeah, and that's what it was. It was shot in real time during the pandemic, in the heart of the pandemic last summer. And so there was a lot going on, you know, and, 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 and TLC was very sensitive to the fact of keeping everybody safe during this time. And the best way to do it is through uh, all of the abilities that we have right now where we're able to come into each other's homes. So we shot it, and with that comes a crazy intimacy, right? You're in your home. You get to ask the questions, and people don't feel so uh, protective maybe of their answers, so you get a little bit more honesty. Um, and uh, I, th I think it just shows to the need for new content and TLC responded by creating this new content, which is love games, putting it on a new platform, which is discovery plus and aggregating it all in this one place where everybody can binge watch whatever they want, their favorite shows on this new streaming service called discovery plus. So I feel like it's a win-win for everybody. Oh, it absolutely is. And I'm so intrigued by the competition aspect of this and I'm curious about the format can you tell me about any of the challenges or questions and how are well, the question eliminated and how do yeah. they progress all right so the questions it starts out with 24 couples in first round one so the the winner of the first round moves to the semifinals right the second place winner goes to the wild card round and the third person the person that comes in third place, unfortunately, is eliminated. So that's how we kind of figure out the rounds. And we dwindle the first round into the wild card round, into the semifinal round, into the final round. Um, so that's kind of how we build it out. Uh, but uh, in between that, the questions are everything from the mundane, which is like, what is your anniversary? What's the most annoying thing that your spouse does? Uh, to questions when it comes to um, the country that their spouse is from, for instance, can you name uh, five uh, bands in England that were in the top 10? You know, could you name that? And so John uh, had to answer, well, she had to answer those questions for John. Then there were other like history questions, right? Because who doesn't know American history? That's a rhetorical question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna make it um, hard. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so listen, it's it's got all of those nuance factor of maybe a show, uh, as in a game show, but then it's got other fun facts like, you know, about 90 Day Fiance and the couple itself. So you get to walk through all of those little channels uh, with me. And listen, the bottom line, it's a half an hour. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you get to check in on them. And it's, it's just a moment to escape. We all need moments to escape these days. And what Discovery Plus is doing is offering you a, one destination to go to uh, to find some of your favorite shows. And my show, it happens to be a new spin 
on your favorite 90 day fiance franchise. I love it. And then the winner gets a trophy, bragging rights, anything else? Uh, just bragging rights because you know what? The 90 day fiance family, very competitive. They really are. <laughs> they want to be the best, the top of the top. They want to be the fan favorite. And um, what they created was all of these people that fans love one place. So these are some of your favorite couples in past seasons coming together uh, and, and fighting for bragging rights. I mean, listen, who doesn't want a trophy? I'm just going to say this. I need a trophy, don't you? I get the I daffodils. Say, I agree. <laughs> Trophies <laughs> are the best, <laughs> especially right now. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Kanye, for joining us today on Park City Television. You can watch Love Games on Discovery Plus.